We're here at Longfellow Creek in West Seattle. And this is one of the first places where 20 years ago we were documenting how many fish were dying when they came back to spawn. We have this chemical soup that washes into these creeks in the fall when it rains. And we know that there are thousands of chemicals in that soup. So what chemicals are killing the coho? Is it 100 chemicals acting all together to kill the fish? Or could it be one or two chemicals that are just really toxic? My name's Ed Kalerje, and uh, I pretty much work at the intersection of water, chemicals, and fish. When it rained, we saw a whole bunch of chemicals from the roads in the creeks. So we started collecting water samples and trying to figure out what chemicals were in these creeks when the salmon died. We pretty much figured out that anywhere there's a road and people are driving their car, um, little bits of tire end up coming off your tire and ending up in the stormwater that flows off that road and even into the urban creek. When we discovered that it looked like tire wear particles were the source of these chemicals, what we did is we made a whole bunch of tire particles and then we passed water over those particles as if it was raining and water was flowing over them. And now what happens is that you get chemicals actually dissolving from the tire particle into the water and it killed the fish. And that's the time that our group is coming in because we are really good at chemistry. We are the environmental chemist. And we figure out the chemical in there and turn out to be a totally unknown chemical. The chemical that seems to be really problematic and toxic to these fish is actually a preservative for tires. And to finally be able to identify the cause of that mortality is, is really groundbreaking to be able to get to the point where you're identifying a single chemical, and especially a new chemical that nobody had previously known was there, is very unusual. I hope we can get to a point where we have salmon safe tires. Tires that are safe for not just humans driving on them, but also the fish and the organisms that are exposed to roadway runoff. I think that's important. <laughs>